Using technology tools from an evidence-based teaching approach is fairly straightforward as you're using the same design principles. It doesn't matter whether the program is going to be fully online, a blended program, or used in face-to-face -face classroom context. Firstly, good learning designs always grounded on evidence-based practice, which is what we've looked at in this tutorial. And that's about selecting those methods that are likely to have the best impact in terms of student learning for the particular student group and the learning outcomes, and the thoughtful application of the core principles of learning as your design heuristics for the lesson. Lovely point by Krista Moroda. She was using the technology but found that it wasn't making um, the learning experience more engaging or meaningful. The students were still largely disengaged. She then looked at the design of the lesson itself and her basic conclusion is this, that it's a great lesson that works well with students, but the technology can make it more effective and efficient. And that's what we want to look at. So we need to select our e-tools that are going to enhance aspects of the learning process. For example, a tool like Hoot, which is a quiz tool used in a game-based environment. It activates prior knowledge, it gives students quick, accurate feedback, and it can be uh, used in a way to create quite a bit of fun in the classroom context. So it's um, a I impact tool in terms of its potential um, effect on learning. However, just to bear one thing in mind, um, whenever you use any of these e-tools, even if they work well, remember if you overuse them, then they will become boring. And that's why we have to have variation in what we do. And that's another of the core principles. So just a little word of caution now. And if you're doing blended learning, what you're looking for is to maximize the affordances of both the online and the face-to-face -face context. And that's the secret of very good creative learning design with technology. And where do we go from there? Well, you may remember Atty's Russian doll analogy. Quite simply, there's lots of e-tools. Some of them are focusing more on the creation and delivery of content, others on providing feedback and assessment, and others on creating opportunities for interaction and collaboration with the content. When you can use these tools in combination, integrated into good method combination, you really are getting somewhere. And what you're doing is producing ICT-enabled Russian data. Good method blending with good eat or blending focused on the student group and the learning outcomes. That's really good creative teaching.